All right, people, welcome back to some more Fake Card Friday. So we are continuing on with the Lunarthon. So Lunar's got two more fake cards, one of them being this card. And then next week, we'll look at Lunar's final fake card just to thank him for all the support and helping out on the channel. Uh, good news, I got the business cards. Oh, yeah, Yubo Mastery business cards. Yeah, this is a business. So, yes, I got the business card. Uh, Matt got super delayed. Like, they were like, oh, we're having some difficulty with, uh, you know, importing so, uh, it'll be like a month late. It's like, well, that sucks, but that's fine. But, you know, overall, things are going pretty well for the channel. You know, we got a ton of more subscribers, and I just want to thank you guys for all the support. Um, good news is that the the upcoming YouTuber uh, award is coming up. So, I will go ahead and put a link in the description so you can go ahead and vote for not only me, but also Stunzi and Omega Chaos are also in this little uh, award competition so if you guys want to go ahead and support us by uh pretty much going over to that video and just commenting in the comment section below uh who you want to win what awards and that would be awesome and thanks for all the support for all three of us so anyway let's get to this fake card so this is uh number night so it's just like no like number dot you know number but it's well it's number paladin pretty much and it is a level six light warrior effect monster with 2,000 attack, 2,600 D, so, you know, I mean, he's a paladin with a shield, so, you know, he should have some uh, good defense. So, let's go ahead and read this effect. So, oh, this is a lot of text, and a lot of text means that I pretty much have to type it all down in the description, so that's awesome. Thank you, Lunar. Anyway, uh, once per turn, during your main phase, you can detach one XC material from a number XC monster you control, and if you do, special summon this card from your hand. Alright, so, take a number monster, detach the materials, touch some of this guy. So, really the only number monster I really know, and this also has to do with, C, you know, C's, chaos numbers, uh, is 101. So, we'll use 101 as an example. So, uh, detach the same material from 101, you're supposed to summon this card. So, you know, if you're pushing for game, that's not terrible, you know, but then you can't use your effect. Anyway, once per turn, during either player's turn, you contribute this face-up card you control, then target one number XC monster you control, except a number C monster, and special summon from your extra deck one number C monster with the same number in its name as that target, but one rank higher, by using it as the XC material. Uh, this special summon is true of XC summon XC material, blah, 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 blah. So, uh, pretty much, you can go ahead and have this as another rank up card. You know, it's a monster rank up card, and... You know, I, I'm not, you know, rank up master, but I think Omega Chaos wouldn't mind if this card is actually real. You know, also, you know, I get that you made it level six, cause, so you can't just like normal summon it. But it, I think it'd be totally chill if you go ahead and just lower its level to like four, but then lower its attack to like I don't know, like seventeen hundred. You know, I think that would be totally justified. You know, because it's I, I get it. It's kind of risk versus reward because yes, you can run this card, but it, you know, if you don't have a number C monster on the field. This card's a dead draw. Like, it's straight up it's dead unless you can attribute for it, which there's really no reason to. But, uh, you know, you could, you know, you could drop it to maybe level four. Ooh, and then you could Rota Search it, you know? I have nothing wrong with rank up cards. And I wish that Konami made something to be able to get you rank up. You know, just something, anything. Because I, I think that if they if they made a monster and when this card is normal summon and search for a rank up card, I think that'd be totally justified. It might breathe some new life into the damn mechanic. Because that's what the one problem. That's one of the reasons why Raid Raptors struggle so much is because their good monsters are like rank ups and shit. And if you don't get any rank up cards, then what are you searching for? You know, is it like, what are you fighting for? And you know, I just wish sometimes, you know, I wish sometimes that, you know, if you wanna go ahead and make up a make a rank up deck you can, but you'd just be so inconsistent. Sometimes, you know, you're not running enough rank ups and you'll never see it and you never get to, you know, the, your major rank up plays, but then you run too many and then it clogs because you don't have, you know. And, and I think that a good balance would be this card, except if it was level four. If it was a level four warrior, maybe like 1700 attack, maybe even less, maybe like 1600 attack, doesn't matter. But with literally the same effect, you know, where you can special summon it by, you know, detaching some material from. Uh, a number monster, that's fine. But then you could also normal summon it, you know, that's fine. Uh, you could probably cut out that first effect when I think about it. But, you know, that once return during the other player's turn, you could tribute this face-up card you control to target a number monster and then rank it up into a chaos number. 
you know, you technically neg, but you just got your chaos number. You know, that just increased the consistency of summoning, you know, rank up chaos number, like, tenfold, you know? That might be, you know, an interesting... This, If this card was level 4, that would be a totally interesting tech to go ahead and put into, um, into Heraldics, you know? Just have a 101 on the field, and just be like, all right, rank up into C101, why not? You know, giant hand turned into, you know, big giant red hand, you know? Why not? But I... I think that this card, if it existed, would totally be fine. I, th I I like it. I like it. I like I said. I just don't like that it's really hard to find the balance and consistency with rank ups. So if, like I said, you know, if you want to go ahead and tweak this card, like I said, make it level four. Make it, you know, like maybe like sixteen, seventeen hundred attack. You know, and if you want to keep that first effect in, you can. It's not a terrible effect, and uh, it can push for more plays. You know. You could have like you know like you can have like a a one on one on the field. You can go all right. Uh, it says once per turn you doing your face attacks. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is that despite saying once per turn, you can only use his. Effect. You didn't say, state that you can only use this effect of number nine once per turn. So literally, you can just go all right. Well, I summon a one on one effect. Detach. Summon this effect. Detach. Summon this. You know it. So you can detach both your XC materials to summon this XC into like an M7, detach, return this back to the hand, detach the, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you can you can do some serious plays with this, but you know overall I really do like the design of this card. So uh, tell me what you guys think about Number Paladin in the uh, comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Fight Card Friday. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and we will see. You, well, I'll see you guys next Friday with uh, Lunar's final fake card to look at. All right, people, thanks for watching.